like then <laughs> then ouch Hello, people on the interwebs. It's your favorite shop dwelling Sarah here with another car review. And today I have the 2021 Lexus RCF Fuji Speedway Edition. This car right here is one of 60 in the world. And somewhere, someone thought it was a good idea to let me get to review it. First thing you're gonna notice with the Fuji Speedway Edition is there is lots of crab on fibre everywhere. Carbon, carbon. Carbon? Carbon. Carbon. All carbon. And on top of the carbon fiber accents, this thing has carbon ceramic brakes with 14.9 inch rotors all the way around. Two piece, my Diageo. Also, this is the biggest rear rotor I've ever seen on a car before. I mean, the caliper is almost touching the inside of the barrel on a 19 inch wheel in the rear. That is crazy. And of course you do see there is that metallic red six piston caliper in the front, four pot in the rear. And in front of that, there is a set of forged 19 inch BDS wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. And winglets because aerodynamics. All of these cars come standard with this carbon fiber rear wing, but what's more impressive is look right here in the weave of the carbon fiber. There's actually the F for the F Sport badge in the weave. That is so sick. Is it just the tip or is the whole thing? Oh, it's the whole thing. If you notice this right here, titanium mufflers. The tips are blue because they're titanium. Titanium mufflers, as well as the rear diffuser is Cabron Fabre also. That's pretty with the gloss black above it and the cloud burst. That cloud burst is so pretty. How the taillights are illuminating off of it. It's like a purple. Oh, the titanium pulls into the accent of the F badge. <gasps> Be still my heart. I love these taillights. The LED L that's built into the black housing lens. Mm. The front though, the triple beam LED headlights are still an option on the Fuji Speedway Edition. They're not standard and they're $1,100 extra. The Fuji Speedway Edition only comes in two colors. This one right here is called Cloudburst Gray. That is such a cute name for a color. I'm sorry, but it is. And also you can get it in Arctic Blast Satin Pearl. It's a satin cleared pearl white. It's pretty, especially with the carbon fiber accents. Mm. As far as the interior goes, since I've already reviewed an RCF in the past, there's a link up above to that video if you want to check it out. I'm just going to focus in on what is Fuji Speedway specific. Starting with the obvious here, these circuit red leather and Alcantara suede seats. It's named after a Speedway, so this thing better have good bolstering. Oh yeah, this is good. Super good bolstering. Mm-hmm. They're really comfortable seats too. Whoa. Okay, why do I do this to myself? This is gonna hurt. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And obviously, because they're trying to save weight with this car, it doesn't have heat or ventilation in these seats. I think there's actually more rear leg room on this edition because of these seats. I don't think I could put the seat all the way back in the regular RCF. In addition to the seats and the door cards and stuff having red suede and Alcantara, the main focus is the fact that it has a red carpet. But don't worry, the floor mats are black, so those won't show stains. But the rest of the carpet is red. I love that. See, if they're gonna shave a bunch of weight to make this thing lighter, why not just delete the back seat that no human will ever sit in? And just when you thought that wasn't enough, it has red carbon fiber on the door and on the dash. And it's real carbon fiber and it's gorgeous. It took me forever to figure this out, but this little tray right here, is for a smartphone. So you can put it right there and then when you accelerate, it'll go flying and take out the back window. Plastic tray for your snacks. I so fix a sandwich. Obviously there's still the signature Lexus analog clock here in the dash, but what's weird is this edition actually comes with a matching watch. I'm guessing it's a men's watch. They didn't include it with a car for the review. I kind of wanted to check it out. Hello, 
Obviously, you're gonna wanna hear how this thing sounds, and I already started the car because it's 100 degrees outside. I need the AC on to be able to film this. But uh, let's give it a little rev. So good, so good. This has to be one of my favorite naturally aspirated V8s. Mm. The infotainment system is just like any other Lexus model. It has fruit robot compatibility as well as Alexa and Wi-Fi. And it's fitting that navigating through the menu sounds like Gran Turismo in a car that I would definitely pick if I was playing Gran Turismo. Gauges are stereotypical Lexus, but the only thing that's disappointing is there's no robotic dial that moves over and reveals a little hidden screen. It's all stationary. Oh my God. I guess there's no better way to show you the 835 watt 17 speaker Mark Levinson sound system than watching the camera actually move from the base. This thing's speedometer goes up to 210 miles per hour. I'd like to try. In the name of science, it is now time to give this thing the beans. As far as drive modes go, it's just like any other RCF. You have Eco, you can press it for normal, Custom, where you can set it up custom, Sport, and Sport Plus. I'm going to put it into Sport Plus, and this also has launch control. The button is located right by the traction control button, which you must defeat. Normally, above the launch button, there would be one right here that says TVD for the torque vectoring diff but it does not have it because it has a Torsen LSD. Press the launch button. It says launch on the gauge cluster. Press the brake, press the gas. Let this thing eat. Ready? Go. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Dude, this thing screams in the upper RPM. That's good. Very linear power band. It screams though in the upper RPMs. So good. Holy shit. This thing weighs nothing. Hello and welcome to Garage Science with Sarah. If you're one of the 60 people in the world that ended up with one of these cars, fucking good for you. Like seriously, I'm so jealous. I would love to have this car. This is, this is it for me right here. This is my unicorn. Love this thing. Anyway, under this carbon fiber hood lies the 2UR GSE. It is a five liter all aluminum naturally aspirated V8 that produces 472 horsepower at 7,100 RPM and 395 pound feet of torque from 4,800 to 5,600 RPM. Like my 91 MR2 Turbo over here, Lexus teamed up with Yamaha on the cylinder heads for this 2UR, and it has titanium intake valves, and look at the plenum in the center, the metallic blue. So pretty, so much detail. And then look at underneath, this raw exposed carbon fiber. It's time for the braking test. This is gonna suck. No one behind me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's really soft on my foot. This is soft brake pedal. Not in a bad way. Like when you really mash on it, it's like standing on a pillow really aggressively. It didn't hurt my toes. I Sometimes I should filter out my thoughts and not say them. It stops great though. Hello, I'm back. Let's take a look under the car and see what makes this one special. As I mentioned before, both the mufflers are titanium and it's titanium all the way back. It looks to the mid pipe and then it goes to stainless. You can hear the difference in the piping. This right here is one of the major mechanical differences between the rest of the RCF lineup. This is not the torque vectoring diff you get in the other models. This is a Torsen LSD with a 3.133 final drive ratio. When a car review turns ASMR. It sounds weird. That's neat. There's a little plastic cup underneath the lower control arm. All the stuff back here is forged aluminum as well. And just because I know there's somebody out there that wants to see this, Here's the complete undercarriage of the RCF. 
Look at all the plastic under here to make it as smooth as possible. That's my head. And these right here are the socks dampers, which are tweaked just a little bit for this Fuji Speedway edition. Look at the size of this caliper. This is ridiculous. It's so huge. They give you a little access door right here also to uh, drain your oil so you don't have to take the whole underbody plastic underneath. Whoa, I just noticed the pattern of the mesh. It has like a little S cut out in the center. That's crazy. And you can see there's a heat exchanger on either side too. And uh, what used to be a moth. R.I.P. This engine sounds so good. Now they did do some revisions to the eight speed automatic that's in here. It's an IS and eight speed automatic. So it is uh, the TCU is tuned differently for this Fuji Speedway edition and it everything is noticeable all these little tweaks I instantly noticed within the first 20 minutes of driving this car just because I've reviewed two RCFs in the past just in the first day of driving this car I also noticed the adaptive variable suspension in here the socks dampers they are a little bit more aggressive and the best way I can describe it compared to a regular RCF is this thing is quicker to party. <laughs> it takes less time for it to learn your driving habits when you're driving aggressively. If you suck at what you're doing, it's gonna show up even more. It doesn't mask your inabilities, but if you get it right, it's a symphony. That was like the most profound thing I've ever said about a car in my life. The carbon ceramic brakes in here are excessive. Like, <laughs> ouch! My overall summary of this RCF Fuji Speedway is it was already a car that's not for everybody and that's what I liked about it. Now it's a car that's not for everybody that is even harder to get because there's only 60 of them. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already sold out. Considering it's a naturally aspirated V8 and this car is still well over 3,700 pounds, it makes almost 500 horsepower and does zero to 60 in 3.96 seconds. The very specific about that, 3.96. Uh, I would say the fuel economy is not bad. It's super comfy on the inside. It's luxurious as hell in here. It looks amazing. It does not feel like anything's gonna wear out and break after a couple of years. It feels well built and it's super rare. This this right here, if I had to spend $100,000 on a car right now, if I could, it, it would be this car. No question asked. So if you guys never seen one of my car reviews before, I have multiple categories. Two right in the system, starting with the bean score. There's a rating of one to five beans, based on feeling you get in your gut when you give it the beans. And this 21 Lexus RCF Fuji Speedway Edition is getting a rating of 3.1 bean. It is noticeably quicker than the standard RCF, just a smidgen, but you can feel the weight reduction. It did help this car. I just wanna shave another 200 pounds off of it, get it below 3,500, and this thing would be an absolute monster. Next is the cookie score. It is a rating of one to five cookies based on what you get for what you spend. It's an assessment of value. And the Fuji Speedway Edition is getting a rating of 3.7 cookies. I already know some of you are probably wondering why I'm rating this higher value than the standard RCF when this is considerably more money. But the reason is two things. One, they're only building 60 of these. And when they do a limited production run, of a car that's already desirable, especially a sports car, it's gonna retain its value. And I think there's good value in that. And secondly, it's not a car everyone else has. Yeah, there are better cars you can get performance for your money, but then everyone's gonna have one. It's gonna be a me too car. And this is still a phenomenal car. So I like having something that is a little bit more unique. Lastly though, is the Penguin score. It is a rating of one to five Penguins based on how much I personally like a car and the RCF Fuji Speedway Edition is getting a rating of five penguins. I was already in love with the standard RCF, but now I have this edition, I just, it doesn't get any better than that. 
This is by far one of my favorite cars I've ever reviewed. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. And if you were one of the lucky few 60 people that got to purchase one, treasure that car. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.